today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Zach Wilson and the New York Jets taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Buffalo Bills. Sam Ficken with it teed up, and away we go from MetLife Stadium. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5", that's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both, and at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To the air, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, and that'll bring up second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Here's Allen to throw it. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught by Hollister. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Allen to Beasley, first down, Buffalo. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Allen going to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early... We're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. now to throw on third down. 
Herndon's got it complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, but it'll be second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Running from the gun, Johnson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. They'll run with Coleman on first down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Coleman going to get it again on second down. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Wilson. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45 yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bills are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. First down, they stick with Singletary. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Eight yards to go on second down. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. That one goes for 30 yards. Defender was right there in his shorts. Is that one of those situations as a DB where you just tip your cap and say, nice catch? Well, you're supposed to, but a true competitor, he's not tipping his cap at all. He's upset he still didn't make the play. If it's a 50-50 ball or a moment of truth, he's got to win more than his fair share of them as well. Probably especially angry because if it was incomplete, would have been fourth down. Exactly. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Allen off the play fake. It's complete to Diggs. And down inside the 15 he goes. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. the football and it's scooped up by the Jets and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back there are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time one starts with a B one starts with an S ball security and they preach it they, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms right you see the signs they talk about it all the time but still when you get defenders out there who are preaching hey we're gonna take the ball away from you no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer. And a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, it's Coleman. Oh, fighting off the defender, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Another six-yard carry, same as last play, first down. Partner, those are back-to-back -back six yard runs and if they're gonna continue to get those types of plays shoot you just keep running the same stuff don't you yeah it was first and ten and second and four now first and ten again they'll run on first down Coleman and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage Second and 10 coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now it's Wilson. Complete. It's Johnson. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. 
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 37-yard line. Wilson fires quickly for Davis. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. On first down, Wilson. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Ty Johnson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now Fick in to kick off following the touchdown. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now out come the Bills. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Four yards the pick up, first down. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Allen. 
Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Working with second and five now. Here's Allen. Looking for Beasley. Got him on the slant. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 42. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Allen. And that is incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Allen again. That is incomplete. It was the free safety LaMarcus Joyner that time able to make the play. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. The Bills on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third and long as a defender, all you want to do is guard the first down line. Make sure that everything stays in front and run up there and make the tackle. They did everything exactly right, except making the tackle the running back. And he ends up finding a way to pick up a first down. Brandon, that play just should not happen. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 25 on second down, Allen on the left side, he finds Beasley. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Hey, man, let's play our game. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. On the give, this is Singletary. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The Bills on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They run for it with Breda. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. 
Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Second and three, and they trail seven to three, but getting close to changing that. And this deep touchdown, Bills! That's caught. Josh Allen with a touchdown pass to the veteran Emmanuel Sanders. And the Bills have retaken the lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From his end zone, it's Corey Ballantyne. Ballantyne opting not to return it, and his guys will have it at the 25. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play so what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play yeah. to throw that balance out of whack that's what you're looking for now not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's the ex-Florida Gator, LaMichael P. Ryan. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that is caught. It's Davis. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 39-yard line. Keelan Cole, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, it's Coleman. 
And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Wilson. And the catch made by Johnson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Wilson now off the bootleg. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. On first down, it's Coleman. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second and seven, Wilson, touchdown Jets! Corey Davis from 10 yards out, and the Jets have once again taken the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Ficken for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now Ficken to kick off following the touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. From the 31, Allen toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's third and short. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. 
The Bills on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, it's Allen. And that's complete to Sanders. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. They'll run on first down. Singletary. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From just shy of midfield, Allen. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven-on-seven seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. The Bills on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Allen now on first down. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. But I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here's Allen on first and 10. Finding Knox there, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. the handoff it's Singletary and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend playbook is wide open for an offense partner nice job hold him to one after that eight yard pickup on first down and we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action
Allen looks to throw on third and one. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Looking to throw. Allen. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Back to throw, Allen. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to regain the lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 17-14. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From his end zone, it's Corey Ballantyne. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing, and I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way, and they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him, and he feels like, if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. Second and eight. Wilson. Throwing over the middle. It's incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon, and it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. 
but sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. Finding Herndon here on the completion. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Wilson will throw again. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throw complete to Herndon. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And, Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Wilson and that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go that could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track they've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense now the Jets send on Braden man to punt back deep is Micah Hyde this is away but boy headed straight for the sidelines and this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. Ballantyne to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They go play action with Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Give him 30 yards there. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. You got nothing. 49, 49, got nothing. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. About three yards there to the 27. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Wilson. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. A.J. Epinesa. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. On third down, Johnson. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Pickens' kick is good. And that will tie things at 17 all. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. McKenzie returning it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And up past the 35. A very good return, but a penalty down. That may negate all the good work. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 
11 yards and a Buffalo first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. That catch, good for only a couple. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down and eight. Here's Singletary. 63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Singletary again. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I'll go ahead and punt the football myself. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. We we'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field, and last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down now, it's Coleman. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Here's Wilson to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. <laughs> 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
on second down and four. Allen flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Quinnen Williams, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards for number 11. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence. Supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him. And he did. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They will run with Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 84 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Throwing now is Allen. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. down Allen he's got the connection over the middle to Diggs and he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line it's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down that was a nicely run slant route and what the receivers trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And they run here with Singletary. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. A 
Again, it'll be Singletary. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. is good and the Bills have come back to regain the lead so CD maybe put a pin in that one as this game progresses it's a field goal that gets him the lead here in the third but boy you hate settling for three when you're that close to the goal line well it certainly pains me to say it but I do think it was the right call now if they lose you and I both know that'd be one of the things that gets second-guessed. Why didn't you go for it on fourth and goal? But I know the mindset was take the points, get the lead. And by the way, if they went for it and got stuffed, they'd second-guess that too. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Ballantyne to return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Coleman going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. It's a first down following a gain of three. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Play action. It's Wilson. Flushed out right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Well, let's give some credit to the defense. They did a nice job there as they flushed him to his right. But he is able to buy some time, extend the play, and turn it into a short gain. Eight, 
They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Coleman now. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Tredavious White, the LSU man, there to knock it away that time. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Throwing is Wilson. That's caught right side by Mims. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Wilson. And the grab by Croft. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Three yards the gain there, second down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. To throw again on second down. Wilson escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the shotgun, Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. But it'll be second and goal. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet.
Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Running from the gun, Johnson. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now Wilson. That's going to be caught by Crowder. It's a Jets touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Jets have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? For the point after, Sam Ficken. And that will make this a four-point game. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Now Fick in to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. To the air, Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Allen on third. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. <laughs> 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. 
Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Johnson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight. Wilson over the middle, and it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. The Jets on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and eight. Now Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. Now this was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. After the interception, here's Wilson. He'll drop this down to Coleman. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 31, Wilson. His throw incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. 
That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run it with Coleman. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Coleman. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position. The guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now it's Wilson. Out to Cole on the right side. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. 49, 49, guys. Looking to throw. Wilson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So decision time now because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, They'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. 
he wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's Matt Hawk now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Oh, look at the juke. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> well, we'll see what his offense can do. again on second down. Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. The two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 44. So after the INT, it's Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. From just shy of midfield, Allen throwing middle, but it's incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Allen going to throw. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. Disaster there, resulting in a loss of seven on third down. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. On is the punter, Hawk, as he gets this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. It's P. Ryan to begin the drive. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. 
Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try and move forward. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cole. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. 39 yards on the punt. Give him just one yard on the return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. Allen and the Bills now. Down 24-20. 221. The time left. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Throwing is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Allen. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Forced out to his left. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Nice, solid game there, partner. But the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. They'll get to the line here. But remember, it's also third down. Allen. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jets are going to get the football back. 
Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start on the ground with Piran. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Still nine remaining on second down. On the ground, it's a handoff to Coleman. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Wilson. Herndon's got it complete. And he will hustle out of bounds. That stops the clock. But boy, that's just a very minimal gain. And also, keep in mind, it's fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you got to think, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. On the return, it's high. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting by. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Blesson Austin. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take a knee. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game. But when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the JETS, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.